Let's finish off question one. Below is the layout plan of the inside cabin of a small aeroplane. All the passenger seats face the front except the seat for the air hostesses or the air hostess. On all flights, there will be an air hostess. Okay, so there they told us that's where the air hostess sits. And then here is where all the people sit, right? So either in these ones or those ones over there. There's an emergency exit. Um, exit. My English is gone today. Um, uh, let's look at the questions. So it says, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. So firstly, it asks, and this is fairly common to ask some sort of definition. It says, explain the meaning of a layout plan. So this layout plan, what I would say is, is a top view, right? Of sort of the arrangement of the space or the structure of a space or the something along those lines. So what I would say is I would say it is a top view, right? Of the structural, maybe is a good word, of the structural arrangement of a space. Okay, there's many other ways you can state this. You can go look in the memo, which is in the link in the bio, but that's kind of what they're looking for. Let's move on now to some sort of non-definitional things. It says, calculate the maximum number of passenger seats available in this airplane. Okay, so can't count the air hostess. So let's, in each row, there's three, right? One, two, three. How many rows are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's nine rows, three in each row. But then there's this random A, right? That's just by itself. It's got nothing over here, right? Because it seems to have some sort of store there. So it's going to be nine times three, right? Plus one. You should be able to do that in your head, which is 27 plus one, which is... 28 seats. If you can't do it in your head, pop in your calculator. Don't stress about these things. Let's look at the next question. Stofile is seated in D1. So my guy is over here, right? He gets out of his seat and walks past his seat and two more seats. So he gets out of his seat. Hopefully there was no turbulence, right? And he walks past two seats. So he walks past these two seats, right? Because it says towards the back so that is the back right so he's walking in this direction um to to talk to his friend who is seated on stofile's right hand side so he's still on this side right because if stofile is walking here this is still his right because that'd be his right and that'd be his left use the same the same notation as stofile's seat which is d1 alphanumeric right alphabet number and then the numerical number um write down the seat number of his friend. So if he got up, he walked past these two, his friend is going to be sitting over there, right? So his friend is G1. Well, his friend's got a name, right? But is sitting in G1. <laughs> so that is the answer to that question. Let's look at 1.4.4, right? It says, during the flight, passengers are allowed to choose a light snack and a drink. The choices are a muffin or a sandwich, with a cola, a juice, or bottled water. Write down the number of options they can choose. So the best way to visualize this, right? I mean, the best way to do this is to visualize it. So either they can get a muffin, or they can get a sandwich, right? You can think about what you would like. I always do this in these scenarios. I'm like, what would I choose, right? So here is cola, then they can do juice, and then they can have water. Okay, over here, they can have cola, they can have juice, or they can have water, right? So how many options do they have? One, two, three, right? A muffin and a cola, a muffin and a juice, a muffin and a water, or they can have a sandwich and a cola, a juice, and I mean, a sandwich and a juice, and a sandwich and water. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and it is six options. I wouldn't advise you circling, like, circling it like I did, but that is the answer. Okay, that's us done for question one. We'll move on to question two in the next video.